the sample problem 22.05 from chapter 22. A neutral water molecule in its vapor state has an electric dipole moment of magnitude 6.2 multiply 10 power minus 30 coulomb meter. The first question, how far apart are the molecules center of positive and negative charge? So as we already know, what is dipole? So dipole has positive and negative and both are separated with the distance d right so here the same charge with a negative sign one is positive one is negative so this is the dipole so here you take the neutral water molecule so in neutral water molecule in neutral water molecule you have 10 proton as well as 10 electron so 10 proton you have and 10 electron you have clear so we are going to use this value here as we already know here we are going to find the value of the distance d so for that we need the electric dipole so in the question they already gave the value of the electric dipole what is the value of the electric dipole and better we can just write the formula for the electric dipole what is the formula for the electric dipole electric dipole is defined as the product of magnitude of any one of the charge either you can take positive or you can take negative so the product of magnitude of any one of the charge multiplied by the distance between the charge charges right so here this is the formula for the dipole moment the electric dipole moment so now i'm going to use this equation for finding the distance d so in this question we are going to find the value of the d so for that we need the value of the electric dipole moment value, which is already given in the question. P takes the value here as 6.2 multiply 10 power minus 30 coulomb meter. Now we are going to find the value of D. So I have to write this value P, which is equal to Q multiplied by D. Therefore, D, which is equal to P over Q. And here Q is nothing but 10 charges, right? So we have to write P, which is equal to 6.2 multiply 10 power minus 30 divided by 10 charges so now e is nothing but the value of the charge is 1.6 multiply 10 to the power of minus 19 so i'm going to use that value here so 6.2 multiply 10 power minus 30 over 10 multiplied with 1.6 multiply 10 to the power of minus 19. when you divide 6.2 with uh, multiply 10 to the power of minus 30 with 10 multiply 1.6 multiply 10 to the power of minus 19 you will get the answer for the first question here i got the answer as 3.875 multiply 10 power minus 12 meter so this is the answer for the first question now we have one more question let's we see what is the question so what is given in the question if the molecule is placed in an electric field of 1.5 multiply 10 to the power of 4 newton per coulomb what maximum torque can the field exerted on it so if you place the dipole in the uniform electric field what will happen the torque effect will be there so it will be rotated the dipole will start rotate right so we need the electric field here so what is the value of the electric field here 1.5 multiply 10 power 4 newton per coulomb and here we need the formula right so what's the formula here the torque effect tau which is equal to pe sine theta this is the formula for the torque calculation and here we have to calculate the maximum torque so if you want to get the maximum torque what is that theta the theta should be 90 right so the theta of 90 the sine of 90 will give one maximum value of sine is one right so now we need the dipole moment so i have to because it's a continuation of the previous question so better we can take the value of the electric dipole value so what is the electric dipole value here the electric dipole uh, moment value 6.2 multiply 10 to the power of minus 30. the dipole moment value is 6.2 multiply 10 to the power of minus 30. so i'm going to substitute the value here 
6.2 multiply 10 to the power of minus 30 multiply with the electric field 1.5 multiply 10 to the power of 4 and here sine of 90 gives the value of 1 so i have to multiply these two so 6.2 multiply 10 to the power of minus 30 multiply with 1.5 10 to the power of minus 4 i got the answer here as 9.3 multiply 10 to the power of minus 26 newton meter so this is the answer for the second question so the second question answer we calculate the torque the maximum torque so this is the answer for the second question clear that's it thank you